Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Super Electivire here and welcome to a new series. Because it is summer, I could spend a little bit more time uploading videos. So here's my schedule that I will outline for you guys and I will try my hardest to follow. But of course there are going to be some exceptions such as when I have things in the way. So Monday is designated for my Let's Plays, Wednesday is when I do PWTT, and Friday is for MPT Battles. My recording days are Monday and Wednesday, but I will try to upload everything on those two days. However, I will also try to upload this new series, which is called Weird Trainer Fights, on Tuesdays. This will be a really, really, really short quick pop-up on a random trainer's Pokemon. That being said, since I have to explain it all today, it will be a little bit longer than this episode. So this is going to be one of the longest episodes that you're going to see on this series. So this can either be a showcase for a unique set that the trainer has, demonstrate you know what they could do to improve on a certain set maybe show them doing something weird some weird set or just to compare the trainer as they ha have the same set across the remakes across the generation so as I mentioned before these are designed to be extremely short and sweet but a few may extend longer such as this one but let's cut to the chase today's weird trainer fights is on May and Brendan the Hoenn rivals these characters appear in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire as always if you choose the male character you have May as your rival and vice versa for Brendan Today we'll be focusing on the Ruby and Sapphire teams, more specifically, the force battle against them. Why? Well, let's take a look at their lead Pokemon. Take a look at this set. What's that I hear? Oh, it's just a Swallow. What do you mean there's nothing to see? Well, let's take a look at its moveset one more time. It has two key moves, Endeavor and Quick Attack. Have you ever heard of the FEAR strategy? Well, FEAR stands for Focus Sash, Endeavor, Attack, which is Quick Attack, and Rattata, but it can work for any Pokemon out there that learns those two moves, Endeavor and Quick Attack. Essentially, this takes a level 1 Pokemon, who is sure to get KO'd. However, making it hold the Focus Sash leaves you with 1 HP. As you guys know, Focus Sash is an item that you hold, in which if you're at full HP, and you get 1 KO'd, you get to live with 1 HP. After you're back at 1 HP, then you can use Endeavor on the same turn that they attack you. So, they're gonna attack you, let's just say you have a Rotata against maybe a Mega Charizard X. That Mega Charizard X goes ahead and has uses Dragon Claw on your level 1 Rotata. That Dragon Claw knocks you down for 1 HP, but you know they're gonna attack you, so this time you use Endeavor. Now, both of you guys have 1 HP. Now, if you guys don't know, Quick Attack actually does have the plus 1 priority, which is why it's called Quick Attack. <laughs> so, when you have that plus 1 priority, your Rattata will go faster than that Charizard X. So your quick attack will KO that Charizard. So basically, your level 1 Rattata just took out a Mega Charizard X. If you guys have seen my previous videos, I've actually used, well, tried to use this set <laughs> with a couple variations, but you know, it's very difficult to pull off. However, May or Brendan Swallow has a similar set to this. It actually has the lowest level on her team, being at level 31, where everything else is higher. 31. Keyword 1, like level 1, like level 1 Rattata, mind blown. Now one thing that destroys fear is status. Paralysis can make you unable to move, so that you can't get off that endeavor or even that quick attack the next turn. Toxic, burn, and confusion all make you lose HP, so you aren't going to be at full health when taking that attack. So even if you live, then your endeavor is not going to get them down to 1, and since you're at level 1, your quick attack won't kill. Now let's take a look at Swallow's ability, it gets guts. So status, no problem. Why not just give it a boost to its quick attack and wing attack when you have guts? Because what guts does is when you are statused, then your attack is boosted. As of generation 3, the type split has not happened, however, quick attack and wing attack are both physical moves. And they still are today. Also it's at a decent enough level where it's mediocre defenses, plus it's relatively low level compared to the rest of the team, allow it to take a hit, usually leaving at relatively low HP. Swallow's Endeavor will bring you down low as well, as you bring its HP down, then it will hit hard with a strong quick attack or wing attack. It has a nice high speed, which allows it to hit you first with wing attack against most Pokemon. Also, quick attack will take care of those Pokemon that have a higher speed than you, generally frail sweepers. Also, it gets the same type of vantage move or stab to both of these moves. See where I'm going? To top it off, it has one more slot to use. And guess what Game Freak put there? Oh, Double Team. The Double Team that raises evasiveness. Yeah, the one that's banned under most competitive rules. Yeah. So I was recently playing a Nuzlocke on the uh, ROM version of Ruby, which was on my phone, and guess what happened? I went up to Lily Cove City, and I was like, yeah, I could beat May, super easy. And guess what? I sent out my Loudren first, 
who has Ice Beam against her Swallow. And I was like, yeah, Swallow's gonna die next turn. Ice Beam gets it down to about red HP. And then it used Double Team. I thought to myself, I should be able to hit, right? Ice Beam has 100% accuracy. No problem. You know, and then I, even if it doesn't hit, this Swallow can't kill me. Well, guess what? Nope. I go for the Ice Beam. Miss. It goes for Endeavor. And now I have 10 HP. Great. So I use the Hyper Potion since I am playing a Nuzlocke, and I can't lose my Loudred. I've had it since it was a Wizmer. And I go for the Hyper Potion as it goes for the Quick Attack. So yes, yes, this thing was running the Fear Set. It was ready to take me out the next turn. And I'm thinking, gosh, that was close. But I can still do this. No problem. Just have to hit that Ice Beam, and it'll be totally fine. I might have to use a couple Hyper Potions, but no biggie. Well, nope. I miss three more times. Gah! Well, at least now I have inspiration for this new series. I think I'll call it Weird Trainer Fights. Yay! Uh. Alright, well that's it for this Weird Trainer Fights video. Hope you guys enjoyed this new series, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. That way I know to keep making them, and I hope they're interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get updated on when my videos come out. That helps me a lot. Well, that's basically it for today, and see you guys later. Peace.